Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in the Star Center Star Automation playlist. Today we are going to talk about how we can manage workspaces inside Star Center Star Automation. Now, if you're new to the workspace concept, this is the same concept which is used in Star Center Tosca, where a workspace refers to the actual project which contains all your objects, like all your modules, all your test cases, all your playlists everything is contained inside this project. And then this project is referred to as the workspace. Now the workspace uh, in real terms can be created either in your local hard disk or inside a database. So that's where the repository concept comes, but this is all in Trascentist Tosca. Now in Trascentist Test Automation, you don't really need to worry about the underlying uh, repository because this is a SaaS application. That means the service is being offered to you. So uh, the space uh, on which this particular uh, project will be saved or the object will be saved will be managed by Trascentis itself. But still you have the option to manage your workspaces. So until now we have been working in the default workspace and it is displayed in the right uh, left-hand top side. So here you can see uh, the default workspace is selected. And then uh, in the drop down, you can see the recent workspaces. You can see samples here. And then uh, you can also view all your workspaces right here. Okay. So if I click here, uh, it will take me to the workspaces overview section uh, or page. And here I will find all my workspaces. So both the default and samples workspace are already created for us when uh, we login into our particular account but we can also create our own workspace right so here is the option so click on create new workspace and then we just need to provide a name for our workspace okay so uh let's give it a name and uh, we are going to call it training okay and uh, here you can see this workspace will be public Okay, so that means all users who belong to the organization will be able to find and join this workspace, right? Now, uh, if you want to add some sample items like uh, test cases or playlist to help you get started, you can also select this particular option. If not, just go ahead and click on create. And then uh, that particular workspace will be created here. The type you can see here is public. Uh, we could have given it a description as well, right? So now if I click on this training workspace, now here you will see that uh, my workspace is selected. And then um, if I go into my inventory, uh, you fi won't find any test cases, right? Uh, because all the test cases, all the modules which we created were created inside the default workspace, okay? So uh, that's where um, our objects are stored, not in the training workspace. So this is a new workspace which we have created. So now we have to create our own uh, test cases and store it in this particular workspace, right? So that's how you can create your own workspaces and you can also change your workspaces from one workspace to another. You can find the same option if you go into your user and then go into settings. There you will find uh, under settings, the workspaces. There also you will see all the different workspaces. Okay, and then you can also come here and edit the workspace. So you can come here and add a description, right? So this workspace is created for training purposes. And then click on save, right? Uh, now I can also go ahead and delete the workspace that will obviously remove all of its contents. Okay, so this is how uh, you can create, edit, delete, uh, and manage your workspaces inside the Tricentis test automation tool. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.